Here is a schematic for the system that you're going to be seeing in this series of videos. So we got the shower, of course, which is your source. We got the diversion area. Now this diversion area is where we divert the water that was normally going straight to the sewer. We're gonna divert it now and go into the gray water system. We're gonna move it out to the front line. Here is a picture of it. And uh, one thing I'd like to tell you is that we have a video on how to do everything inside here, how to cut the pipe, how to route it, everything. Then it goes to the filter feeder pipe. And then the filter feeder pipe, it goes into the filter. Here is a photo of the filter. And we have videos on how to build this filter. The one thing I'd like to say right now is that all the parts and all the supplies, everything can be purchased from Lowe's. This also includes the aquifer pipe, the expanders, everything. And you can get all the links from our website. So all you need to do is go to our website and you'll find the whole list of everything. You click there and then it'll take you directly to Lowe's. And then at Lowe's, you just order online and then you can pick everything up right at the front door. And then from the filter, it goes to the feeder header pipe. Now this is the pipe that runs from the filter straight out to the front line. And then it goes into the trenches. Once it hits, the, once we go into the trenches, now it's called the header pipe because right here between here and here we have a drop now this drop is very important what it does is that it creates what they call head what that means is that the water it builds up pressure and it builds up velocity and it's very important to have this because once it gets past this drop the rest of the system is all level so you need that pressure you need that velocity of the water coming off of this drop to push it all the way down to the very end of the aquifer pipes through the whole yard. Okay, so now we're in the trenches and this is your header pipe going straight down. And then from there, we branch off into the aquifer pipes. Now, let's talk about the gravity flow and everything else right now. So, this is a whole gravity flow system. Okay, so the shower is gravity flow into diversion. And then from the, from the diversion, it's gravity flow into the filter feeder pipe. Now this filter feeder pipe has a slight decline on it so that it could go into the actual filter. Now from the filter, if you see the filter, you got the filter on top and then you got the surge tank on the bottom, so that's, that's gravity. And then once it comes out of the filter, this feeder header pipe has a slight decline all the way down into this junction right here when it drops into the header pipe. But once it hits this header pipe here and it's into this trench here, this is all level. This is level, aquifer pipe trenches are level, everything is level. And the header pipe is level and the aquifer pipes are level. The one thing that we do have is we have videos on how to make these trenches, how to keep them straight, and how to keep them level, that they're all at the same depth. So check out our videos on how to dig the trenches, and it gives you great detail on how to do that. Now there's something very important to know. The reason why it's gravity flow is because for gray water systems, you need to keep it a simple system, meaning it's gravity flow. This will allow you to have a low to almost zero dollar permit. So when you go get your permit, you tell them it's gravity flow. You do not hold the water for longer than 24 hours. And it's called a simple system. And the permits run about $300 to sometimes it's nothing. So, but if you had it pressurized, then it's going to cost you some money, almost $1,200 in some areas. Now, the reason why it's completely level once it hits the trenches is because it needs to have an equal distribute of water throughout the whole system. Now, this next thing I'm going to tell you is very important. The first thing you want to do is you want to lay the header pipe in, this, in its trench without gluing it, without doing anything and just level it, get it level, get it straight. 
Now, the next thing you want to do is you start here at the very end and you get this aquifer pipe all built out. You watch our videos on how to get this whole aquifer pipe ready to go. Put the end riser on it. You put the pipe, you use a coupler to extend it out. You cut it. You um, put the reducing coupler on there. You get it all set. And first thing you do before you start doing the water test, before you start leveling it, is make sure it's level to the header pipe. That header pipe is your reference point. That is your starting point. So this aquifer pipe needs to be level to this header pipe. And then once you have it level to this to this header pipe, and you then now you can start the water test procedure, but you do not move this front area. You can lift the middle, you can lift the back, you can do whatever you want to do to get this thing level, but do not move it from the from where it's already level to the header pipe. Now, once you've got the aquifer pipe, you've done the water test and you leveled it, and then you follow our video where we where you tuck in the dirt and then you put some. Then you fill it in with some more dirt. You got it all nice and secure. Come back over here. You take off our temporary 90 that we have on there. And then you actually connect it to the header pipe. Okay. Then you come back to the very end. And then you put on the, the, the end riser, the last part of the end riser. And you put the white cap on there. And now you can fill this one in as much as you want with the trenching. Okay. And then you go to your next one. Again, you build out the aquifer pipe. You put the couplers on there. You bring it out. You put the end risers. You put the reducing coupler. You get it all set. And first thing you do before you start doing the water test, before you start leveling it, is you make sure it's level to the header pipe first. After you have that all secured, you got this front end all nice and level to the header pipe. Then you do the water test. Bring up the maybe bring up the middle, bring down the middle, bring up the end, bring down the end. Whatever you have to do to get do the water test, we got the video on that. You can watch that. Get that all nice and secure. Do the tucking, filling in with dirt. Put some dirt on top of it to get it all secured. And then you come back here and you take off the little adapter we have and you attach it to the header pipe. Then you go to the next one. Okay, so it's very important that all of these trenches, all the pipes and all these trenches here are all level to each other so that all the water gets distributed to all the different aquifer pipes equally because that's what you want. You want all of these to have the same amount of water or you're going to get into brown spots. So that is a schematic, give you an overview of the complete system and what you're going to be seeing in the upcoming videos. So see you in the next one.